Hello and welcome to our little um, planting video and hopefully you'll find it very useful. So we're just planting today with Russell and uh, we've got a, a nice tree there that's lifted out a nice plenty of roots on it and um, we've uh, uh, just pre-dug the hole so we've taken out some of the spoil and ch cut it, chopped it up, made a nice generous hole to be able to accept the tree's roots. So, but if there are any roots are really are quite long, then don't be afraid to trim them a little bit. Just take a, a bit of the excess length of the root because you don't want them to be going curling around the roots in any way. You want them just to be uh, to go be going outwards. So there we go. So that's where it wants to be. The soil level wants to finish up when, once you've planted it. So then we can drop it into there. You can always use a stake like what Russell's got there, just to uh, uh, as a guide for that uh, for that a little bit later. So we're we're just offering the so we're just putting a stake against it. If the if the, if the site catches a little bit of wind, uh, always useful to have a stake to hold it firm for the first two or three years. So we're just going to. Uh, so you don't you, with the stakes. You can put them with bare-rooted trees. You don't have to put them at an angle like you would do with a containerized tree. Stake through the tree's roots at the most appropriate angle, but put it on the ideally on the windward side. So we're just going to give it a, a a slam in now. So these are just short four-foot stakes. Don't need really a lot of height to them. They just need to hold the roots firm so as um, when in any way. Okay, so we're just offering the tree up to the stake. So we're on the viewing from the windward side. So the tree is on the opposite side of the stake. So then, so now we can just put some of the soil back in. To the whole two-person job, if you if you wish. Uh, otherwise, um, and somebody can at the same time just shuffle the tree up and down, which Russell Russell will do uh, very shortly. So as that will filter the soil, which is you try to make as as fine as possible. And uh, no, uh, so Russell will now just shuffle the tree up and down to. Um, to just pass the soil through the roots and get as good a contact with the, the roots as possible. And passing that soil through it and then we can start to consolidate it around the roots. Not, don't over firm, just a firm press with the heel will, will suffice around. Because it's, um, don't want to over compact but you do want to compact enough to get get even more roots in contact with that soil. Yeah, so that's the graft union there and the soil is up to where it was on the nursery there so graft union well out of the soil. I've okay. got a, a buckle tie here which um, we will uh, a nice broad strap which Russell will put onto the tree or block which will go in between the tree and the stake to separate the two, so there's no again no chaffing or damage to the tree, and then to, um, put the um, a buckle on the, the on the post side of the uh, on the against the post. And if rabbits are present or um, in the area, it's always worthwhile uh, putting a, a rabbit guard on. We sell these as well as the buckle ties. Um, and I uh, remove any of the side, lower side shoots where where they are um, in the way. Okay, well we'll just uh, we'll move on to our next tree, and uh, and uh, I hope you found this of um, interest and of help.